Okay, so now we're gonna start the session. I, I hope everyone is getting great, safe at home, or working, or whatever you are. So, um, first of all, my name is Adrian. And I, I am a visa specialist, and I work at the visa department here at Placement International. Um, please, if you are um, watching the, the session, leave your comment below, and uh, also add the hashtag Stay Hospitalian to know that you're that we are watch, uh, you're watching the session. Um, so okay, today I'm gonna talk a, lo a little bit about Placement International, uh, who we are, what we do, and um, and how we can help you to develop your career into the uh, hospitality industry in the United States. So, um, as I mentioned before, um, I'm gonna talk about Placement International and um, about uh, the whole visa process. Uh, on the United States. As you know, the US uh, hospitality industry is one of the most uh, robust sectors in the world. And despite of the impact of the global economic recession, the industry has survived and is now starts looking for staff to go back on this feet. Many of the prestigious hotels and gastronomic restaurants that we work with are now recruiting a lot of people in different departments, such as food and beverage, um, rooms division and also culinary departments. So finding a life change opportunity has never been so easy. Now you were wondering how it works and which visa do you need for applying for a uh, United States. Let me go into deep with the visa we use, the J-1 visa. Um, the purpose of the J-1 visa program is to provide international participants with opportunities for professional development. Also, uh, insight into the American in, uh, know-how in the field of hospitality and a uh, greater understanding of American society and culture. So once you were hired by your host company is when, when we, the visa department, jump in. This is one of the most critical phases. As for you, you start a program, you need a visa. Now let's go with the J-1 visa process. As I mentioned before, the, J1, uh, the, the, the visa process is one of the most critical ones, as it uh, includes different factors, from outside factors, and also it depends on many um, detailed information and different, different steps. However, our visa uh, team is always on top of the process to guarantee the best experience for our candidates. So we're gonna start with the, all the process. The first step is the eligibility. Uh, did you, uh, there are two kinds of status that you can apply on a J-1 program. It's an intern or a training. Uh, a candidate goes under an intern position as long as he's enrolled in a school. It means that he's still studying. Or uh, I'm under that he, le le he studied less than 12 months uh, from their starting date. And uh, the second one is a training. Uh, a candidate can go under a training status as long as he has graduated uh, at least uh, uh, before 12 months under the starting date and has at least one year of experience. Also, a trainee uh, can be a person who has at least five years of experience in the hospitality industry, no matter the studies. Once the eligibility is done, you will, uh, assigned, you will be assigned for, to a sponsor. So, based on your profile, your uh, previous experience, and the property you are going and your training plan, you will be assigned uh, to a visa sponsor. We work with different sports on like ASE, Pan Atlantic Exchange, Intrax, and Green Heart Exchange. So you will be asking, what is a sponsor? So a sponsor is a third uh, party orga organizations empowered by the Department of the States um, uh, of the United States. And, what makes sure, and uh, it makes sure that all the J-1 visa applicants meet their requirements and they are safe and respect the rules and regulation during the program in the United States. So, uh, once the sponsor is assigned, you will get a visa specialist, one of the members of our team. Uh, this visa specialist will assist you in the whole process, um, on the whole process during your visa. To get started, the visa specialist will request you different kind of documents. This includes passport, CV, reference letter, school documents, and previous US visas. Meanwhile, 
the, um, the business specialist will, will make a personalized training plan and that will be validated before uh, by the host organization. Um, after collecting all the necessary documents, creating the application and um, defining the, the final um, training plan, uh, we will send all this together to the sponsor and the sponsor will review all the detailed information. Once the whole application is approved, the candidate will receive the SEVIS ID. With the SEVIS ID, it's a number that will allow you to um, uh, apply for an uh, emergent uh, for a um, embassy appointment. Also, for this appointment, uh, the candidate will receive a step-by-step -step guide uh, for the uh, by the visa specialists. Once we receive the embassy appointment confirmation, the sponsor ships the DS documents from to the candidate. The DS do, uh, the DS two thousand nineteen document is the most important document for the J one visa. This document basically identifies the exchange visitor and the designated sponsor and provides a brief description of the exchange visitor program. And um, after this, for the embassy appointment, um, our visa team will conduct a mock interview to the candidate in order to prepare him for the interview. Uh, uh, participant, the different questions that the candidate can be asked and to making sure that the candidate has all the documents and is really sure and confident for the appointment. And after the visa, we, we, we arrive to the final step. Once we have the visa confirmation, the visa specialist will inform the sponsor and the property, so all the parties are um, aware of the good news. Also, the visa specialist will conduct a pre-arrival orientation call that prepare the candidate all the specifications he needs uh, for travel to the United States. It's important to mention that with Place International, you can apply also for a second J-1 uh, program. And we assure you that this, the process will get as smooth and enjoyable as possible. Thank you very much for, uh, for your attention. If you have any questions, please uh, write in them below in the comment and I will be happy to answer all of the questions. Uh, yes, so we have one question. How long is the visa process usually? Usually takes? Yeah. That's a really good question. As I mentioned before, uh, the process depends on different factors and also depends on the country uh, where the participant is applying. Normally, the, the, um, the time it takes for the, the visa is around four to eight weeks. But as I told you, it depends a lot on the embassy available spots or also uh, the sponsor. Another question. Uh, is it possible to extend the J-1 visa to another visa after finishing the program? After finishing the program, in order to uh, extend, it depends how long your visa uh, is uh, takes. You can extend a visa that is around uh, six months, you can extend to 12 months, or even sometimes to 18 months. But after that, you cannot extend the visa. In order to apply to another visa, you need to go back to your country and then you can reapply uh, to another program and to another visa. Uh, how can I, I apply? To the, to the, to the Yeah, to the process. To the process, first you need to contact Placement International, then uh, one of our agents will contact you, will ask you about your preference, where you want to go, what are your departments are you uh, wants to go, and then, once you are inside the process, uh, you have a property, then you will get into the visa department. Super. Also, you can apply um, in link in bio and in our website. Exactly. You can check our website, you can check uh, our Instagram and apply on also in, in LinkedIn. Do I have another one. Do I need to know my training plan by her to get my visa? Uh, of course, you need to know how your training plan is going to be because it's the training you're going you're gonna to be doing in the United States. So it's important that you, uh, you know your training plan. And of course, we're going to uh, send it to you and you're gonna, we're going to review it with you so you know all the phases and all the things you're going to do in the United States. Okay, I think that's everything. Any so if you have any other questions, it's the time to ask. Remember that you can apply in link in bio or sending an email to the mail, that is. Exactly, you can send an email to uh, Play Info. International 
to info placementinternational.com and uh, you can also uh, send messages to our uh, social medias uh, as Instagram, Facebook or LinkedIn. After completing the J-1 visa first time for repeat the J-1 visa after how many time I can apply? It depends on the status you went on the first time. Uh, if you went as a trainee, you need to wait at least two years to apply for the second J-1. Okay, I think that we have all okay. the questions Perfect. done. It was a pleasure to have this uh, to uh, share this session with you guys, and we will see you next time. Stay hospitalian and see you. Thank you.